And who better than Elon, right, to show us that future? As you can see, I just uh, arrived in the robo taxi, the cyber cab. There's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. So you'll see Model Ys and the cyber cab, uh, all driverless. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. <laughs> we'll find out. So it, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to un unsupervised full self-driving, where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. But there's also a challenge uh, for a lot of people that uh, cars cost too much. I mean, when you factor in everything that goes into a car and the car insurance and the car payments and the storage of the car, it's, uh, it's very expensive. So we want, with autonomy, you get, you get your time back. This is a very big deal. So it's, it's not just a safe, like, it'll, it'll save lives, like a lot of lives, um, and prevent injuries. I think we'll see autonomous cars become 10 times safer than a human. Um, and, and it's not just the lives saved in injuries, but if you look at the, think about the cumulative time that people spend in a car and the time that they will get back. So in, in fact, we, we, I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. So yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. We, we do expect actually to, st to start a fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. That, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. We, we expect to be in production with the, the cyber cab uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, to, in, in 2026, before 2027, let me put it that way. But well before that, you will, you will experience the, uh, a robotic taxi via the Model 3 and Model Y program, and Model S and X too. So, and it's Cybertruck too, yes, of course, sorry, I don't want to be, get, yes, yes, all our cars, uh, basically, um, uh, all cars that we make. Let's not get new ones here. All right, next slide. <laughs> um, and and, and I, I want to emphasize that the, the solution that we have is, is AI and vision. So there's no um, expensive equipment needed. So, um, and, and that means that our cost of producing the vehicle is, is low. All right. So our autonomous future is, is here. Um, as I said, we've got 50 Teslas driving autonomously. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. The robot taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. One of the things that like, is really interesting is, is how will this affect this, the cities that we live in? So what would happen if you have an autonomous world is that you can now turn parking lots into parks. You do, we're, taking, we're taking the ing lot out of parking lot. There's a lot of opportunity to, to create... Uh, green space in the cities that we live in. Also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The Reboven is... Uh, this is a, we're, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. The Reboven is what's going to solve for high density. E everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress. You're really gonna have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. At scale, the, 
you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can be a teacher, or babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, whatever you can think of, it will do. And I, I, th I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. There's gonna be some, maybe two, uh, and then they'll be, they'll be producing products and services. It will be an age of abundance, the likes of which people have not, almost no one has envisioned. It'll be something special. Let's party.